But I want to talk about mainly as to why we should embrace the suck and why we shouldn't shy away from it. Everything that, that feels good in life, and the majority of this podcast, I talk about what feels good. And I think that's really important. Too, too much of today, we get caught up in, in mindlessly numbing our brains and having dopamine hits through social media and other, other avenues, TV, whatever, computer games, I don't know. But we need, to, we need to take another step in a different direction and come back to what feels good. And a huge part of what feels good is achieving things. And it only has to be little wins. I talked about this in one of the podcasts last, last week. Like it doesn't have to be major breakthroughs. Things just have to be small wins. And this is the same with embracing the suck. Small little wins throughout the day that suck a little bit lead to this mass progress. And one of the things that might suck a little bit is meal prep. <laughs> or cooking a healthy breakfast rather than having a bowl of cereal. I would argue this is embracing the suck in a very, very small way. It doesn't have to be David Goggins running 100 miles, okay? There's different layers to this 